sky-high granite peaks and ancient sequoia groves, trademarks of California's Yosemite National Park. The spectacular landscape has made it one of the most visited nature reserves in the country, but four years into a historic drought, that landscape is slowly changing. Scott Gediman has been a ranger here for nearly 20 years. He says the waterfalls may have shown signs of life because of late snow, but water levels across the valley are dangerously low. This is the true indicator for me. Looking down at this gauge and seeing that the river level here in the Merced River is just over three feet, and here we are, it's not even summer yet, and we're looking at warmer temperatures, a record low snowpack, just tells me how much of a drought we're really in. And the drought isn't just affecting nature. Tourism is also taking a hit. These visitors are going on one of the last rafting trips of the season, with outings ending a month earlier than usual. When the water gets down to about one and a half feet, that's when the water's just not enough flow. The algae really starts to grow in the river and the rocks are starting to protrude out and you got to get out and kind of pull the raft a couple times. So we stop at about a foot and a half. Dry rivers, scorching heat, and now a higher risk of wildfires. These trees were burnt during the last major fire in 2013. And with hot and arid conditions today, that could happen once again, making campers like Terry more mindful of their habits. Everybody is very conservative. Um, if we have leftover water bottles, we're not throwing it away. We're using it for a coffee in the morning. Um, so there's just little things that you can do to conserve. Little things that almost everyone is happy to do, as signs of the drought are more visible than ever. For example, they have a, like a, a place called the Mirror, Le Mirror Lake. They say that before it was a, a, a whole lake, and we went to see it, and we only see partial of the lake. The other parts are dry. Yosemite is bracing for yet another parched summer, but with nearly four million people from around the world visiting every year, the park still remains a sight to be seen.